there are 4,312 different types of chatter, and that's what makes chatter challenging. And we're going to talk about one of them now, and this one we're about to talk about is called fish scale chatter. At least that's what I call it. And here's what happens when you have fish scale chatter. So let's say we've got a grinding wheel and we're going to true it or dress it. We're going to dress it with either a single point diamond or let's say we're going to use a diamond disc. Something looks like this. So as we dress going across, so this is a traverse disc. Now imagine this guy is not perfectly round or let's say he's out of balance or something like that. So as this guy goes across, he's actually kind of banging against the wheel. Because this guy is not perfectly round, we're creating an unround wheel. Now, let's say that my dressing roll is going at 12,000 RPM. And let's say my grinding wheel is going at 3,000 RPM. Now, every time this grinding wheel makes one revolution, this roll has made four revolutions. So we end up with a surface or a wheel that looks something like this. High point, high point, high point, high point, low point. So now we have a wheel that looks something like that. And if we try to grind with that wheel, we're going to get chatter marks on the workpiece. And every time that wheel makes one rev, we're going to get four chatter marks on the workpiece. But it's not that simple. Things are getting more complicated. Let's say this guy is not running at 12,000 RPM. Let's say he's running at 12,150 RPM. Now we're no longer going to get the exact four ratio when we dress. We're going to get something different. So now we're still going to get more or less four lobes on the workpiece. But as we get further over on the wheel, we're going to have that lobe is going to have a phase shift. So now we've got still got more or less four lobes, but we have lobes that are shifted. And this is where it gets tricky to draw. So let's take our wheel and let's expand him out. So let's say this is pi times diameter. So that's my entire wheel. Now previously I had four Let's make this wheel a little wider to make it easier to draw. Now, previously I had about four high spots. So we're going to go boom, 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 approximately. Now when that roll comes around again, and also considering what's called the overlap, now we're going to have a hit there, and there, and there, and there. And that distance there is going to be the phase shift. Now, here comes my wheel again with my four rolls. And I'm going to hit there, and there, and there, and there. And those are my high points on my wheel. And then I'm going to go there, and there, and there, and there. And this is just going to keep going, and going, and going. So now we've got this kind of bizarre, chunky shape on our wheel that also kind of looks like a spiral. And now when we go to grind our workpiece with this, these high points on the wheel, so this is my workpiece and this is my grinding direction, these high points are going to go boom, 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 boom. And we also are still going to get those shifts. And we're going to get some kind of funky pattern that maybe looks something like that. Now the slopes are going to be different depending on what wheel speeds we use. The ratio of wheel speed to work speed. But we may get something like that. If for some reason, let's say this guy is 12,000 and 3,000, so our phase shift is zero, then these guys line up perfectly. Or what if that phase shift is much, much bigger. Now, that funky fish scale shape 
may look something like, let's see if we can draw this, something like this. Maybe it's halfway. And then it comes around again and it's like that. And then it's halfway like that. And then it's like this again. And this can get maddening because in some respects, you get these kind of funky spiral shapes that come out on the wheel. So these little spiral shapes or these little angles can be like that, they can be like that, they can line up like that. Sometimes they line up and they cross with something else and they look like this. And you get all types of, types of funky shapes based on the phase shift. You can mess around with changing roll RPM, wheel RPM, the ratio of wheel speed to work speed. The overlap ratio in dressing um, gets quite complicated, but this is what we call fish scale chatter. It can also be caused by a bouncing diamond, so we sometimes call it bouncing diamond chatter. Or imagine instead of having the roll out of round, we've got a diamond, and this diamond isn't very stiff, and when we dress, he starts banging on the workpiece. Then we can again get that type of funky shape on the wheel, it translates into the workpiece and it looks like a fish scale. I see it a fair bit. It's not the most common type of chatter, but it is the type of chatter that I see. It can drive people crazy because it seems to come and go. The angles come and go, all different shapes and sizes. But if you do see that funky shape on the wheel, consider that maybe you have fish scale chatter. Mm -hmm.